Hello everyone, welcome to MSF Tip Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a shared calendar in Exchange Online. Calendar sharing is a great way to keep your co-workers informed about your schedules. By sharing your calendar, you are eventually displaying your calendar and events in your co-workers calendars. This is particularly helpful for teams that work very closely like setting up appointments. In this video, we will use Outlook on the web to create a shared calendar and to share it with other users. You can also use Outlook application to create and share calendar as well. We need to access and log into the Outlook on the web. You can access Outlook on the web using the URL HTTPS colon double slash outlook.office.com. I have accessed the mailbox of our administrator Manhar Rakolia using Outlook on the web. Okay. Now I'm going to click on calendar. You can see the existing calendars for the user on left side. I like calendar, United States holiday and birthdays. These are default calendar available in Exchange Online. We will start by creating a new calendar that we will then share with other users. Click on Add Calendar. Here we have options to create new calendar. Uh, let me click on Add Personal Calendars. You can add your personal calendar from Outlook.com or from Gmail.com. You can also create blank calendar. Let me create one new blank calendar. Uh, let's specify the name of this calendar. Okay, I have given the name IPL 2021. Then pick a color of your choice for this calendar. Then uh, select a charm for this calendar. Uh, here I'll pick uh, this trophy. Perfect. Now I'm going to click save. Perfect. IPL 2021 created. Under my calendars, now you can see I have another calendar named IPL 2021. Uh, let me click on it. Okay, this calendar is empty. So after creating a blank calendar, now you can add events to your calendar and share it with other users in your organization. Okay, uh, again uh, click on add calendar. Here we have some other options like subscribe from web option. Using this option, we can subscribe calendar from the web as well. And for that, you just need to enter the URL of that calendar which is available on internet. If you are football fan or cricket fan, then you will find their league scheduled calendar on internet as well. For this demo, I have downloaded IPL 2021 scheduled calendar which we will use to create a new calendar for this user Manhar Rakulia. For that, we need to click on Upload from File option. Click on Browse to select the .ics file. Ok, I have selected file name IPL-2021-IndianStandardTime.ics Remember, the extension of that calendar will be .ics. Then we will select the blank calendar which we have created earlier to import this calendar into. Click on drop down arrow and select the calendar which we have created earlier, IPL 2021. Now we simply need to click on import. Import is successful. Let's uh, verify that. For that I'm going to close this. Uh, already IPL 2021 is selected. Fine. Uh, let me clear this and uh, let's go to the month of September and here we can see schedules are there. On September 19th, we have a one cricket match between Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians in Dubai International Cricket Stadium. The timing is also mentioned there from 7.30 to 10.30. I have imported this calendar for this demo, so you have an idea about how to work with a calendar. Now that we have the calendar ready, 
let share this calendar with other users in this demo we will share this calendar with our user name parita boda right click the calendar which you want to share in our case it is ipl 2021 let's right click here and then click on sharing and permissions enter the email address of the user to send a sharing invitation link in our case the email address is going to be paritab@clarex.onmicrosoft.com let's enter it okay let's select parita boda click on drop down arrow to see the permission level since this is a test environment i'll go with can view all detail options otherwise you have other options like can view when i'm busy can view titles and locations or can view all details and the last one is can edit here we'll go with can view all details you can set up this permission level as you want now i'm going to click on share button to send the invitation link to parita boda on this email address perfect now let's access the mailbox of our user parita boda Uh, let me close this click on this three dots click on in private window type url https colon double slash outlook dot office dot com and press enter key enter the email address and password to sign in Okay we have access the mailbox of a user Parita Boda we can see the message from our administrator Manhar Rakulia about the calendar sharing let's click on it Manhar Rakulia would like to share an outlook calendar with you called IPL 2021 let me show you the existing calendars of this user first let's click on calendar Confirm that IPL 2021 calendar is not available in Parita Boda's calendars. Okay, click on a mail. Uh, click on the mail which we have received from our administrator, and to add this calendar to our calendar list, you simply need to click on Accept. Adding calendar, perfect. Click on View to view the calendar. and this time under people's calendar you can see ipl 2021 is listed earlier this calendar was not here we can also see all the events from this shared calendar uh, let me click here because the events are in uh, september okay we can see the events on uh, 19 september and as we have seen earlier in our administrator's calendar uh, let me show you again okay so we have the same events in both calendars so we can say that we have successfully shared the calendar with our user parita boda and now even admin add a new event to that calendar that event information will automatically sync with this calendar let's see that okay right now we are on our administrator manhar rakulia's calendar with the name ipl 2021 now here i'm going to add a new event on 9th september let's double click here and let's just add a meeting okay fine let's click on save so we have added a new event in ipl 2021 calendar on 9th september thursday now let's check the same thing in a user parita boda's calendar since this calendar is shared that means this event must be available in parita's calendar as well let's go back there And here we go. Here we can see we have an event on 9th September Thursday. Let's click on it. You can see the meeting is there from 8 a.m. to 8:30 a.m. So that concludes the video on how to create a new calendar and share it with other users in Exchange Online. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.